Hey everybody. Hey everybody. I think I'm gonna have to get your sponsor because he's going to do the most. This is our goal. How y'all doing? Hey, everybody. Hey, hey, Martin and Sonia and Teresa and Patrice and Delps and Ermie and Marilyn and T. Berry and Judy. Hey, Judy. Hey, everybody. Hey, Cheryl and Gail and Miss C and Mary and Martha and Louise. Thank y'all for being here. Hey, Kathy. Hopefully y'all saw the goal. Hey, Roberta. And hopefully you have your, I got to get your sponsor. Hey, I'm doing good. Thank you for the link. I did get a chance to check out a little bit of the video. Hey, David. Hey, Vicky. Y'all, I'm going to have to get your sponsor. Hey, Princess. Hey, Chantel. Is it Chantal or Chantel? Hey, Sandy and Sherry and Katrina. Katrina, I hope you finally got your package. Doing the most. Hey, Kawanda. Y'all, give me a second. Talk amongst yourselves. Go on. Y'all say hi to Milo. Hey, Crystal. Go on. Say hi to the people. He wasn't going to stop. Say hi to the people. Right here, look. Look right there. Sweet Milo. Amanda called you sweet. Renee said hey. He does the most. If I say, hey, everybody, Kawanda said hi, KG said hi, Jennifer said, everybody is saying hi to you because they heard you screaming as if you were being tortured. Go on, say hi, look. Doing the most, y'all. Amanda, you gonna be on doggy daycare. Amanda's gonna be on doggy daycare, my love. She said you're precious. That's what she said. She said you're precious. And guess what? She's going to be on what? Doggy daycare. That's what Amanda is going to be on. Doggy daycare what? Duty. Come on. That's what she's going to be on. Peter, you might as well say hi. You up here stealing candy. 
Good idea. Dark, but it's called dark magic. It's not mountain. The the flavor is dark magic. It's not mountain. Okay. Hey everybody. Yes. I had to bring the treats up here. That's why that's the only way you will follow me. Sorry about that. Here's this treat. Here. Thank y'all so much for being here. Thank you very, very much for being here. I appreciate it very much. Let's do a quick giveaway since y'all had to wait. He knows it's quick. That's why, Mary, that's what he knows. Let's do it. Hey, Nani, uh, Donna, Luda said, hey. Thank you, Ro P. I'm in my, um, I'm in my orange era. I was in my pink era for a minute, but I'm thinking I'm in my, I think I'm in my orange era now because I'm loving this. And they were hyping me up a little bit too much in my Facebook group with my brown. But um, let's do a quick giveaway of my logo and then we'll get started. Hey, April's. Now this giveaway, uh, unfortunately, you guys, is only for anyone who's in the United States. I cannot send the um, transfer out of the country because it's very expensive to do that. The orange is orangey. So let me, let's do that really quick. Let's do a quick giveaway and then we'll get started with the craft. Okay. Thank you. Marilyn. I, it's coffee at the top, Marilyn. It's coffee at the top. You're supposed to know all the colors already, Marilyn. I taught you that. I taught you that already. Let's do a quick giveaway. And it's going to be logo one, logo one. And uh, let me share that screen, share screen, give away, share, start collecting. Logo one, logo one. Logo one. Logo one. Remember, you have to be in the United States in order to win. You have to be in the United States in order to win. You must be in the United States in order to win. Martina Jenkins. Okay. Martina Jenkins is the winner. Congratulations to Martina Jenkins. This is what my logo looks like on a white sweatshirt. This is what it looks like on a gray sweatshirt. Okay. It just looks like that. So Martina, what you have to do is Send me your mailing address to my email, craftingwithdelanda at gmail.com. Craftingwithdelanda at gmail.com. Okay? Craftingwithdelanda at gmail.com. All right. Now, the giveaway is over. We will do another one at the end. Martina Jenkins. All right, Martina, did you hear what I said? Hopefully you're in the United States. You have 48 hours to claim your prize. Email me at craftingwithdelanda at gmail.com, okay? Two Martinas. Y'all, I feel like that happens to me a lot. 
one day I was talking to this lady named Paula in my Facebook group and there was another Paula and they thought, both thought I was talking to them. There were two Judy's. It was just amazing. Okay. So today we are learning how to use photo transfer paper and I keep a craft journal. Hopefully you have a craft journal. Remember I said before, uh, your craft journal doesn't have to be anything fancy. Hey, Regina, did you press yours yet? Cause you, I know you got yours. Your craft journal doesn't have to be anything fancy. It can be something like this that, you know, I made this with just Dollar Tree paper on the inside. Hey, Sharon. Um, but hopefully you keep one. Hopefully you have one. Hey, Leslie. All right. So we have our goal. Let me show you what some examples of photo transfer paper are. Um, here are some of the examples that I have. And I would not say that, let me see how I can say this. I think with photo transfer paper, I hope you feel better. I think with photo transfer paper, you will find the one you love. You'll find the one that you feel works the best for you. Um, I'm going to show y'all something. Hey, Crystal, I'm going to show you something that I made and I'm going to say very, very early in my crafting journey. It was before I even had a YouTube channel. It was before I even had a Facebook group. I was just learning how to use a Cricut. I had no idea that the letters were supposed to um, be touching. So I'm getting ready to show it to you, but I made this and I made it with photo transfer paper. The reason why I'm showing you this, and this is a vulnerable moment for me because I don't think I've ever like, shown this to anyone. Hey, Stacy. Um, I'm showing it to you because I want you to focus on the picture. Okay. I want you to focus on the picture, not so much the, the craft because hindsight is 2020 and the craft, to be honest, the craft was terrible. Like if I was teaching somebody this, I would have quit. <laughs> like, you know what, girl, I cannot follow you because that is trash. Okay. But um, some of you know, especially if you're in my Facebook group, you know that Peter's mom passed away um, in 2020. And this was before I had a YouTube channel. This was, you know, the pandemic was happening, all that stuff, right? Um, I had, I made shirts for us to wear. Um, we did a balloon release. And um, I didn't know what I was doing. I really didn't know what I was doing. But I made shirts and he had her picture on it. And this was, like I said, 2020, this is 2024. This shirt has been washed a lot of times, a bunch of times, a whole bunch of times. Okay. So I want you to see um, what this shirt looks like. And this is just one example. Your mom did too. I'm sorry. Here that KG. Let me um, pull it up because I had all my stuff right here. Let me see if I, if I was a shirt, where would I be? Maybe I could go here. Hold on. Oh, I did. Okay. So again, I'm going to show you the letters, but I really want you to focus on the, the image. Okay. So this was the picture that I put on this shirt. This is photo transfer. This is an example of a photo transfer, okay? And you can see that the picture is on top of the shirt. It's, you know, it's, it's on top kind of like a sticker, right? It's not in the fabric of the shirt. So every time I, I've ever washed this shirt, I've washed it inside out. Um, but you see the picture is still there. The picture still looks, it looks good. Okay. So what I want you to know is that this is an example of photo transfer. You can see the letters are not, <laughs> I didn't even know they were supposed to be touching, but like, I don't think we, we, we cared about that. 143 likes. Um, we didn't even care about that, right? We cared about having the picture on the shirt so that when we went to go do the balloon release all of us had on the same shirt. And um, his mom was a twin, so her twin is still alive. And so we just kind of, um, you know, wish 
um, um Billy a happy birthday recently. Okay, and I'm trying not to get emotional because his mom loved me and I loved her too. But um the I wanted you to see what a photo transfer looks like. This is an example of a photo transfer. This is the paper that I used. And this paper, they sell this at Walmart. This one right here is called Dark Fabric Transfers. It's pen and gear. Um, you can purchase this at Walmart. Now, I want to say it's approximately $10. Um, I do have a link below the video if you want to just check it out. But this is one example of a photo transfer or photo transfer paper. This right here is also considered as photo transfer. When I made this, this is also not on, it's not in the fabric, it's on the fabric. And when I look at this, you, I don't know if you can tell, but it's, you can see that every word has like an offset behind it and it's ironed on top. It's not infused into the fabric, okay? This is an example of photo transfer. Hey, Donzel. Thank you. All of this, now I'm glad you asked that, Roberta. Everything that I'm showing you was printed with an inkjet printer. We're not talking about any other types of printer tonight. Everything that I'm showing you, every single thing was printed with my inkjet printer and the regular inkjet ink is no, there is, we're not even using the S word, okay? We're not doing the S word. Y'all know the S word I'm talking about. It rhymes with bubble, bublimation. <laughs> okay, it's, it rhymes with bublimation, but we're not even going to say the word, okay? Okay, so this is a, another example. With this, I used Caesar Easy Color DTV, which is, it's just, it's photo transfer. It's photo transfer, okay? Um, here is another example. Now, I did, I just did this one today. I do. But everything that I'm using is linked below the video. Every single thing I'm explaining, everything I'm talking about, all of my links, you guys, they're always below the video. So you never have to wonder, what is Delanda using? What is she talking about? What is she referring to? Everything <laughs> is below the video. And I take the time to do that so you never have to be confused about what, where can I find that exact one I do that. The links don't get there by themselves. Okay. So this one right here, I just did this one today just to test it out. This is also photo dark photo transfer. And for that one, I use this. I use this printer's jack. Okay. All right. Okay, so, and even on this one, look, let me see if it, let me see if it tells you. See that? This is used with the what? Inkjet printer. Inkjet. All of these papers that I'm showing you, they're used with inkjet printers. Look at this. I have Amanda. Okay. So we're not saying we're not, we're on inkjet tonight. We're on inkjet. Okay. We're on inkjet. Everything that I'm printing, everything I'm showing you is printed with an inkjet printer because what I want you to know is that you can still do a photo transfer and you don't have to have bublimation. Okay. You don't have to. You can use an inkjet printer and still get nice, vibrant, beautiful colors that will last. Now, because I know that what this, this um, image looked like beforehand, because I'm the one that put this on here, I would say this image looked like this when I put it on there the first time. It, it looked like this. And if I wanted to put this on um, you know, if I was using the bublimation stuff, I would have had to use a hack. Well, with this stuff, there is, it's no hack. It, it just goes directly on the stuff. Okay. 
So we're going to look at that and we're going to do, you know, just do a few examples so you can see what it's like. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so you're not supposed to use DTF with the um, inkjet. It's going to wash away. It doesn't work. That's why I haven't done it. I think the only ink that'll stay is the black. All right. And I think this one was um, the Caesar Easy Color DTV. Okay. This one right here is Caesar Easy Color DTV. And so for this one, I use this stuff right here. Okay. All right. All right. So how we, I want to use my regular heat press right there, but I'm also going to toy around with using my Cricut Easy Press because when I'm looking at the directions for this stuff, it'll tell you, you can use a heat press. You're going to need heavy pressure, but if you want to use an iron and let me just tell y'all, we don't have an iron in our house, okay? In, in my house right now, there is no iron. So if there's something that needs to be ironed, it's going on the heat press. I can promise you that. Or I'm going to get my easy press or mini press. We don't have a household iron. My kids went off to college and we let them take the iron. Because I don't like to iron anyway. I just don't want to spend my life like that. I just don't want to. You know, I got other things I want to do in my life. And ironing, it's not one of them. Okay, just want you to know that. So if that's how you want to spend your life, you do it, but I'm not. Okay, but this stuff on all of these packages, they will tell you that you can use a household iron and they specifically say a Cricut Easy Press is a how is an iron. It's an iron. Let me see if I can find that because it says it. And I'm not even joking. Do you... That's the truth right here. Where is it? That's the truth. That is the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the what? Truth. Yeah. I don't, Chris, then. I'm not doing it. I'm not spending my, my years like that. I'm just not. Let me see, because I saw it on here. Um, this is another... Oh, look. Okay. So like, this is another brand that I like the PPD PPD brand is called photo paper direct. I also like this brand and I have used it previously. I don't have any of the shirts. I couldn't find any that I've used it on. Thank you. MM. I like that. Um, but look right here, it says, if you, well, well, let's look over here. It says work on a hard heat resistant surface. Do not use an ironing board. So like if you wanted to use an iron, it, it gives you the directions, right? But then right here it says, if you have a heat press, this is the time and temperature. A Cricut press is an iron. It, it tells you right that, right there. So if you're using an easy press with any of this stuff, you will follow the settings as if you were using an iron. I do too, Kawanda. Okay. So if you don't have a big press where you're going to be able to get good firm pressure, then you can use an easy press and you just know you will be using firm pressure. Okay. Oh, that's good, Sheila. <laughs> what? Stacy? Stacy, I'm starting to think you would be trying to break stuff on purpose. That is so good, Shay Shay. I'm going to start sending my clothes over there for y'all to iron them, okay? That is so wonderful, okay? I just can't, I'm not spending my life like that, okay? All right. So we've gotten that. We've done that. Um, so the benefits. Let's talk about some, the row P. All of my links are where? Somebody tell row P where my links are. Somebody tell row P where my links are. Somebody's gonna tell you, row P. 
they're in the description. Thank you, Jan. I appreciate that. And they're in the description. All of my links are in the description. Let me tell you why I try to remember to do it beforehand. Because as I'm going through, like preparing for the tutorial, I'll always just like, I'll put them everything in a box or I'll put them in a crate. So I'll have everything. So I'm not like, where's my stuff? What am I looking for? I don't want to be doing that. I want it. So if I put it in this box, it's in the, it's down below in the description. Okay. All right. Um, let's talk about the benefits of using photo transfer paper. Now, when I'm talking about photo transfer paper, I'm talking about any of it. The Caesar Easy Color, this brand, PPD, Pen and Gear, any of them, because they all pretty much work the exact same. The benefits of doing this is that you don't have to have a bublimation printer, okay? You don't have to have, we're not doing the S word, we don't have to have all of that fancy equipment. We don't have to have the bublimation ink. We don't have to have the, you know, all the stuff that goes along with it. We can put this stuff on any color we want. We're not limited to white. We're not limited to polyester. We're not limited to a certain material, right? So with this, you can use it on any color. Um, for the most part, it, it'll tell you that it works best on um, fabric that's cotton or that has a high um cotton count so like 60 percent or more cotton so if you're using a blend like a a polyester and cotton blend they would prefer it have more cotton than polyester okay um you have a lot of options so i mean you can look here they they put it on dark fabric just so you can see that you can get a full color quality image on fabric without having to have all of the fancy, expensive equipment. There are limitations though, right? The limitation is that this doesn't last forever, right? So if I'm using the other stuff that, that requires all the money and all the, the polyester and all that, I need a special ink, I need a special printer, I need, you know, special uh, blanks and all of that. I need polyester, I, you know, it's, it's, it's a lot that comes with it. So but it's gonna last longer, right? So but with this, it doesn't last as long. I would say it doesn't, but I also think it depends on how you wash it, right? Bublimation. Good. Hey, Tracy. Okay. So it's more like a sticker though. Like when I, you know, even with this stuff, this is on top and you can hear it. Hey, Kevin, you hear that? about how many washes I, don't, I really don't know because i really think it depends on how you wash it i think it depends on how you wash it so like i was showing you with that shirt with peter's mom on it you know i've had that shirt for a little less than four years and i know for a fact that i've washed that shirt at least 30 times i know i have a lot of times and <laughs> y'all ain't gonna never forget what, bublimation. Hey, Jane, welcome. Um, but I always wash it the same way. I turn it inside out. And now I wash my stuff on warm. A lot of this stuff, they'll say wash it on cold. My, my advice though, no matter what brand you try, Follow the directions from the package, okay? So whatever the packaging is or whatever the packaging says, follow their directions for washing it, okay? That's that's my opinion about it. But with this stuff, um, I think I only washed this shirt like once. I only wore this one time. But, I mean, you can hear it, but that doesn't change the fact that the color on it is nice, right? I can still get nice, vibrant color and you see what the color is, Okay. And I also don't hang anything to dry because I don't. I also just like I don't have time for ironing. I don't have time to be putting it on the hanger and putting it. I don't have time for that. Good. Okay. All right. So let's get into. That's what an inkjet printer is, Stacy. Uh huh. Yes. Mm hmm. Yes. Okay. So let's get into. Cricut Design Space. We are using our Cricut for this. I could not link my printer because my printer is 
outdated. Like they don't even make that one anymore. But if you were trying to get one that's similar to mine, I would say probably the Canon MX 490. My daughter has a newer printer than, than mine, but it's in the same model. Okay. Uh, uh, Canon MX 490. It shouldn't cost that much. At this point, the ink costs more than the printer. Okay. You don't have to, Kimberly. If you've already started the expensive stuff, no need to go back. But this is for anyone who has not gotten on that journey. Okay. You don't have to buy an inkjet. I'm not, you, you don't have to at all. Correct, Sheila. That's the truth. That is the absolute truth. Okay. All right. Y'all ready to go into Cricut Design Space? How y'all feeling about that? Hey, Marshall. Okay, let's go in the Cricut Design space and let's kind of look at Canon TS9. Mm -mm. Philip, that sounds really fancy. Hey, Louise, it's two Louises in here. Oh, wow. Sorry. Okay. All right, let's go in the Cricut Design space and... um. Let's see what we can do. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and turn my heat press on. Now, I will say a lot of this stuff requires, in my opinion, it requires high heat. So when I press this and when I press the other stuff, I pressed it at 375 degrees. So I'm going to go ahead and turn my heat press on so it can start heating up right now. Hey, Dolores. Oh, yeah. And especially if you're using Cricut shirts, they are, um, I think they're one size too small. 12 inches, Philip. Oh, I, I never heard of that. I never heard of that one. Hmm. Yeah, um, love. Can I just call you love right here? Can I just call you love? <laughs> um, my printer, I paid like $50 for it. And um, it's literally going to have to say, I'm dying for me to change it. Because I'm not. It is, I'm not. It's going to have to die. Like, like then I'll be like, that's it. I am, Miss Parker. Okay, Brandy. Brandy love. I love it. Okay, let's go into Cricut Design Space. Let's go into Cricut Design Space. HTV Ron. Ms. Parker, you're asking for a lot, ain't you? Ms. Parker said, do all the presses. Okay, let's go on a quick design space. So I'm going to um, open a file that I downloaded from Creative Fabrica. And if you are not familiar with how to upload a file that you've already downloaded, I have plenty of tutorials on my channel about how to like bring a file into Cricut Design Space. So I'm not going to focus on that tonight. I'm just going to upload this file that I've already downloaded from Cricut Design Space. Who is Belinda? Martina, I'm going to need you to don't let don't let autocorrect do my name like that. Do not, do not, do not, do not, do not. I'm going to browse. I'm going to, let's go to documents. I'm going to my Creative Fabrica files. I'm going to my Valentine's Day. Where's my Valentine's Day? Where is it? Happy Valentine's Day sublimation bundle. And I am going to... Let's see. Let's get this flower right here. We're going to 
I'm gonna need you to get my name together. I love my name, y'all. Y'all just can't. I can't even express how much I love it. It's kind of like I don't know. It's, it's it's like an obsession. Okay, so like there's this pretty beautiful Valentine's Day sunflower with all these gorgeous colors in it. So I'm just going to click apply and continue. This bundle is okay, Martina. This bundle is also linked below the video. The bundle is linked below the video. So if I click right here and I select the print then cut image, I can bring this in and, um, you know, just add it to my canvas. Now I know Cricut Design Space is gonna tell me it's too big and all that stuff. Right now the view on my screen, Delonda, Regina, Regina, she knows I love my name. Uh, the view on my screen is at 100%. I'm just bringing it down to 50%. But you know, right here, if I look in my layers panel, I can see by clicking right here that the image is too large. And it says the image is too large for 8.3 by 11.7 because this paper right here, this printer's jack is actually A4 is 8.3 by 11.7. That's the size of this. So when I was practicing with the earlier Cricut, is, I guess they remembered that that's the size I was using. So I can go right here to auto resize and let it bring it down. And that, I'm, I mean, that's really, really small. Okay, let me just see if I can bring it up just a little bit. Just by unlocking this, I'm going to unlock this. And I'm going to try to bring it up just a little bit. Was this design free with membership? Any design is free with membership, Shay Shay. This is from Creative Fabrica. This design came from Creative Fabrica. Thank you. All right, so I'm going to, I unlocked it, so my proportions are not going to be equal, but let's just see if I can make it a little bit bigger. Oh, no, it won't even let me do that. Let's see, image is too large. Let me go back. I'm going to try it again. I'm still unlock it again. So it let me make it a little bit longer, and I still don't have an error. but it won't let me go any wider. That's so weird. If I try to go, let me try 7.2. So it'll let me go to 7.2. That's fine. I'll just go right there. Okay. I'm just go right here. Cause this is what it's going to allow me to do. And um, I'll click make. All right, so with this paper right here, oh, that's good, Tracy. All right, so right here, I'm going to click continue, and I'm going to um, send this to my printer. Now, according to these directions, it says to um, just choose like the basic settings. Now, let me say that this, because this is only really one thing and it's not, it doesn't have any words or letters attached to it. If it did, I would need to make sure that this had a background, kind of like if you were with me when we did print then cut last week, we talked about like when I made those stickers, was that last week? Do we do that last week? I think we did. When I made those stickers with Kawanda's name and we had to have an, um, a layer behind her name because otherwise each letter would have cut out individually. If this design had words or letters with it, I would also need to have some kind of layer behind this. Okay. You can Lorianne. Mm -hmm. All right. So here I am going to keep the ad bleed on. I am. And I'm also, you can see that I'm using my Canon MX470 and trust me, you're going to hear it because it's very loud. And I'm going to use my system dialog. When I turn on the system dialog, that just brings up my printer settings. Okay. Now I'm keeping the ad bleed on. Whenever I use this stuff, this or any brand that I have behind me, I always use ad bleed. Okay. Whenever I'm using this stuff. 
All right, so I'm going to click print and it's going to bring up my printer settings. Okay, yeah, so all right, and I'm going to my preferences and for right, I'm going to turn on the print preview and for media type where it says, hey, Angel B, plain paper, I, I, I am going to choose other photo papers. I'm just choosing other photo paper with a print quality high. And I'm going to click OK. And once I click print, it will give me a print preview. OK, so this is what it's going to look like. Let me see what if y'all can see that already. I don't think you can. Oh, you can't see that. Let me see. Let me stop sharing so you can see what that looks like. Let's do the entire screen like that. Hide this and go here. Um, so here is what my print preview looks like. And with this stuff, I'm not going to mirror this. OK, with this, you print, you press it face up just like this. OK, so I'm going to click um, start printing after I put the paper in. Now, I, I don't. Hey, is it Wooji? Hi, Jackie. Let me stop sharing again. Now, I don't typically keep paper in my printer, so every time I want to print something, I have to go around there and put the paper in. I don't ever keep paper in my printer. So this paper, it says printer's jack on the back. I'm actually going to put two sheets in, I guess. So I don't have to go back over there when I get ready to print the second one because I want to show you another one that does have words. I don't think I pushed it in all the way. Oh, I did. Hey, Karen. We're not doing, we're not doing any noises. We're not doing any noises. We're not doing noises. We don't even like that kind of stuff. Hey, Lisa. Okay. Thank you all very much for being here. My email address, um, let me see. Martina, my email address is craftingwithdelanda at gmail.com. Craftingwithdelanda at gmail.com. Crafting, like just like the channel name, Crafting with Delanda. Okay. Crafting with Delanda. Okay. And you have 48 hours, 48 hours from today. So today is Tuesday. Okay. 48 hours from today. So Friday is too late. Okay. Thank you, Tammy. I love it too. I'm telling y'all, I think I'm in my gold, I mean, my orange era. And I think I gave y'all the, in the Facebook group, I gave y'all the wrong colors because this inner color is, I wrote it down, gold orange, AB. This is hyacinth at the bottom, coffee at the top, and then 
silver orange metal light on the outline. I'm in my chocolate era because y'all were hyping me up so much. Like the line that I chocolate. And so I, I didn't even want to, I did not even want to tell y'all. I couldn't even bring myself to tell you that I went back to Aviva and bought more hoodies because you don't need that kind of drama in your life. <laughs> you really don't. You really you don't need that in your, in your life. She has 48 hours to claim her prize, RJ. 48 hours to claim my prize. And my mom, she texts me and says she wants one of every color, of every design. That's what she said. I said, in rhinestone? She said, yes, if it's not too much trouble. <laughs> and how do you tell your mother that it might just be too much trouble? Okay. I got the hoodie from Aviva here in Houston. Okay. And Peter says, you only get one mom, take care of your mom. So it's literally impossible to ask for anything. That's nothing is too much. That's how he feels. Okay. So I printed this on the printer's jack. This is my regular inkjet printer. This is inkjet. Okay. Tracy, you know she's going to get it already. I was sitting here today trying to think if I needed to start on it today. Then I had to roll my eyes. But this is my regular inkjet printer. See what the colors look like. Right? Okay. This is what my colors look like from my inkjet printer. And so what I'm going to do is put this on my mat. And I'm going to make it match the way that it looks in Cricut Design Space. Did I mirror this? Did I mirror this? did not mirror this. So you're not mirroring this either. And hopefully you're taking notes with you on your craft journal. Hopefully you're taking notes with your craft journal. Make sure I'm putting it on there the right way. Same way that it is. Let me look at it again. It looks the same. I'm trying this way. I'm gonna look at it again, again. Oh, this way, okay. All right, and we're going to let the Cricut Maker cut this out. Yeah. And I think I'll put this on a bag, okay? And I'll give the bag away, okay? Let's do that as a giveaway. Let's go back to sharing so y'all can see what I'm doing, okay? Let's go to... Let's do entire screen. We'll share it, and we'll go back in here. All right, so... You see, I have my design. I'm going to turn the camera, turn it this way a little bit so you can see my Cricut Maker. And um, I want you to see that my Cricut is going to cut this out. Thank you, Jackie, for saying that. Okay, so now I did not mirror this. What setting am I going to choose? Let me see if y'all remember my setting, my favorite setting. Who remembers what my favorite setting is? Because I said it last time. Uh, oh, what was my favorite setting? Marlene! Marlene! <laughs> Marlene said it first. Marlene, that is correct. Infusible ink. I love that cut setting, right? So Marlene, this bag. Marlene, are you, are you in the United States, Marlene? Marlene, are you in the United States? Marlene. Are you in the United States? <laughs> Marlene. You're in Miami. 
Marlene, this this bag is going to be yours, Marlene. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and press the um, flashing C. And I'm going to let my Cricut cut this. But let me stop sharing because you can see it better right there. Okay, I'm going to let it cut. All right. I'm using this size paper. Let me find a bag for you, Marlene. Let's find a bag for Marlene. Marlene, we gotta find a bag for Marlene. Because she's in Miami. Miami's in the house. Miami's in the house. Miami's in the house. Miami, Miami, Miami's in the house. Miami, Miami. 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 Let's find a bag for Marlene. Milo, we got to find a bag for my leaf. Huh? Do we? Do we need to find a bag for We do. We do, Milo. We do. We need to find a bag for my leaf. Do we need to find one really, really quick? Let's find one really, really quick. Let's find a bag for Molly. Uh, Molly, we only have. Only have white. You want a white bag, Marlene? Marlene, I only have white. Do you want a white bag, Marlene? Let's see what we have. My little, does she want a white bag? Does she? We don't know. Do we know? We don't. My lean, I only have white. It's okay. Thank you, my lean. Okay, white it is, my lean. All right, so let's see. Oh, my cut is off. You know what? I think I, <laughs> my lean, I think I put this on upside down. We were in the scene. I think I put this. Y'all don't need to see this. Hold on, let me look at it. I think I put this upside down. Let's see. Yeah, that's not. I think I put it upside down. Let me print it again. Don't look at that. Lisa, they need to pay you double, double, double. Let me print it one more time. That's not good. That's not good. Look at that. That's not good. I'm going to do it one more time. That's not good. That's not good. That's not good. That's not good at all. Let's try that again. Milo, that was not good. And I don't think I need to calibrate because I just printed earlier and it was perfect. Watch it. Just don't want to be perfect because I want it to be perfect. Preferences, preview, plain paper, other photo, the photo paper high. Oh! You know what I didn't do? I know what. Y'all know what I didn't do? I did not, um, I did not change the size of the paper in the printer settings. So that paper was set to eight and a half by 11, but this paper is not eight and a half by 11. It is 8.3 by 11.7. Hey, Crafty Crafts by Sheila. I didn't change the paper size. <laughs> I know, Chris, thank you, Regina. I didn't change the paper size. I made a mistake, I'm sorry. But print it again. It was going to be good. It was going to be a little bit good. 
But look. So with this, let's pretend like it was right, right? Let's pretend like it was right, which is not. I would just take this. It's printing again, but you'll see it. I would just need to take this off and press it on the shirt or the bag or whatever. I need to use a um, weeding tool. Oh my gosh. So it's like really thin. It it reminds me of like uh, Caesar Easy Color DTV. Still use it. Dimps. <laughs> Dimps, I know you were going to. I should have known. Dimps, is, Dimps does not throw anything away. Dimps, I still have all of those shirts. A drop shadow. Okay, drop shadow. Okay, drop shadow. I love it. Uh-oh, Waratah 5, where did I lose you? On what? Snip the white parts off? No. No. I'll, I'll put this inside the bag and send it Send it to Mylene, see if she can have it and do what she wants to do with it. No, nah, you can have it. You can. I'll just put that in the bag when I send it. Where did I where did I lose you? Where did I lose you? Where did I lose you? Let me get the paper. I forgot to change the paper size. I'm so sorry I did that. But I'm only human, born to make mistakes. I am just human, human, yes I am, and I don't want anyone to be lost, honestly, and if there's a way that I can help, you lost since I said no mirror, so with this stuff, I'm pressing it face up, I'm not flipping it over to press it on the fabric, I'm going to press it on the fabric facing me. And really, you won't be lost if you get the package because the package will tell you not to mirror. So all of this stuff, any of it that you purchase, it's going to tell you do not mirror it. Okay, so I'm, I'm just cutting this again because the first time I cut this, I did not change my paper size. And we're going to go through it a, a couple of times to see if that helps. Okay, so... Trying it again. Use a silhouette paper. Is it photo transfer paper, princess? Can you use transfer tape? Um, I would say you could probably use KTM mask. Thank you, Tanya. Hey, Michelle. Yes. Correct, Regina. That's exactly right. So KTM mask that you use for rhinestones, transferring rhinestones, you could probably use this. Um, you could also probably use... Um, I'm guessing right here, the backing from HTV, heat transfer vinyl. Oh, my cuts are still off.
but not as bad as they were. Yeah, but with that stuff, you need the expensive stuff that goes with it. I need to calibrate. My cuts are off bad, y'all. I need to calibrate. Look at this. You see that? Well, that's no bueno, is it? Cancel the cut, yes. And since this is what, real deal, what, holy feel? Oh, Shay Shay, if you go to Aviva, just tell them to stay in the car. <laughs> just be like, you know what? Just stay in the car. I will be back. Peter does not get out of the car when I go to Aviva because I don't have time for that. I just, look, I'm going to be here for a minute. I'm getting ready to calibrate this. It looks like 3D. Let me calibrate this. Y'all know how to do calibration? It's a lot of white, Jesse. Hopefully y'all know how to do a calibration. Let me go to start. Print and cut. I gotta put paper in there. Hey, hey, R, is it R Baby Jane, something like that? Hope I said it right. R Baby, Baby R, R Baby, R Baby. I gotta print a calibration sheet. I often do obviously not enough <laughs> obviously not enough with the white blending with the white on the back i mean i guess it would but i don't want it to look like that martina i don't know calibrate good time come on bum, 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 bum. let's calibrate there's a party going on right here a calibration to last throughout the year. So bring your good times. Y'all should see how Milo is staring at me. And your laughter too. We gonna calibrate your body with you. Come on now. Calibration. Let's go calibrate and have a good time. Calibration. Mm -mm. We gon' calibrate and have a good time. It's time to come together. It's up to you. What's your pleasure? Milo is really staring at me. Everyone around the world. Come on. Let's calibrate. See, that's gonna be stuck in your head. You're not gonna be able to get it out. <laughs> Every time it's time for you to calibrate, you're just gonna be singing. I know you. I know you. We're going to have a good time tonight. Let's calibrate. It's all right. We're going to have a good time tonight. Let's calibrate. It's all right, baby. See? Watch. Every time y'all get ready to calibrate, it's going to play in your head. That's going to do what? Play in your head. Um, Mylene, I'm putting both of these in your bag, okay? You're going to have two extra sunflowers with the what? 3D effect. But they're not actually 3D. They have an effect because they're what? Errors. <laughs> That's good. That's good. Tammy, but do you have the moves? You got to have the moves with it. You got to have, we going to have a good time tonight. Let's calibrate. It's all right. Where's my brayer? Baby, we going to have a good time tonight. Let's calibrate. It's all right, baby. Milo, you can be my backup singer too. Because you, we know you can sing. We know you have the vocals. You've been practicing every time I go live. All right, let's see what it did. Well, that looks 
looks good. Okay, I'm gonna say yes. Continue. Yeah. Hey, Rita. Shay Shay, you gotta, every time you get ready to calibrate, you better sing it with heart. Like you want to be in the what? Five heartbeats. <laughs> sing it, sing it, sing it with heart. Man, this looks so deceiving because this looks good already. Aviva is so good. I ordered so no, I didn't order. That's a lie. I went in, in person and purchased a whole bunch of hoodies of various colors. Hey, Martha. Hey, Helen. Helen, I did not come on here intending to sing, but they made me do it. Leslie, you know I got a song for that, too. A heart is a house of love, and I've learned that it don't take much to build it build it up build it up build it up hoo, hoo. don't make me sing because i'm gonna sing okay so now i'm calibrating so number 10 number 10 well really number 11 and letter j so I'm top y'all can't see what i'm doing let me show you what i'm doing Oh my gosh. Entire screen, sure. Sure. Hide. Okay, so top line, my top line, number 11, number 10, and number 11 really look good. Number 10 and number 11. I'm going to go with number 11. And then on the side, letter J. You understand me? I, just, I don't know why. All right, without unloading, are you satisfied? I feel like I am. I'm going to say yes. So my calibration, let me stop sharing so y'all can see that. My calibration actually looks, I think it looks good. So we're going to try this again. The calibration is good. It's a good calibration. Let me try that one more time. Hey, Velda. Let me try that one more time with the... Um, This is going to be a little bit weird, but I just feel like I need to put a um, a tiny dot at the top so I can make sure I'm putting this, this in the right place. Because maybe I'm putting the sunflower in, in the wrong spot. And it might just be me. I'm just put a little tiny dot. Just like right there. Just so, <laughs> just so I can know. Okay, just just go with it. If it'll let me. So I'm going to send it to the printer one more time. Why does your image print off red? Because I think maybe maybe I put the paper in Maybe I'm not putting it in right, but I'm, this will let me know because that little dot is going to let me know where the top of the paper is. You think it's going to work, Tracy? I hope so. I'm still keeping the ad bleed on. Plain paper. I'm doing other photo paper. Hi, I'm going to do a print preview. Changing the paper size to A4. Front tray, I'm gonna click OK. I'm gonna click print. Where's my little dot? I don't even see my little dot. Where did my dot go? Did 
Did y'all see my dot? I did not see it. Let me try that. Let me try it anyway. Send to printer. I'm putting it on. Oh boy. Build it up, build it up, build it up. How are we spending the first 40 minutes of a tutorial? Printing the same image 37 times. It's great. We love to do that. That's so much fun. Actually, it's not. Okay, let's see. Print. Preferences. Preview. A4. Front. High. Let's try it again. print. Try it one more time. Okay, start. Let's try it one more time. Put a little dot on the back of the paper at the top. Too late. Mm-hmm. Put a dot before I take out the pen. Didn't see the dot. I didn't see it either. We ain't ready to see. If it doesn't work this time, it's it's not you, it's me. But I think it'll still be fine, even if I if I cut it and it doesn't cut right because the bag is white. But I still wanted it to be a good cut, so I'm not sure why. Milo, we're not doing any. We're not doing any noises. We're not doing noises. We don't like it. Okay? All right. Thank you. Thank you, Shay Shay. I need all the fingers crossed and everything. Maybe I'll do one of those with the uh, easy press and we'll see how much, <laughs> how much pressure you need. A lot. A bunch. Gobs. I need a bigger trash can for my craft room. Need a bigger trash can, Milo? Do I need a bigger one? Yeah. She needs to be super, super bigger? Yeah. My little dot is not even in existence. That dot said, you know what? I'm not doing it. I think it's right though. Because on one side it has two. Let me look at it one more time. Look at the image one more time. This is right. This is the right way. I'm gonna try it one more time, Mylene. And we're gonna get it. It's gonna be great. I can feel it. I can feel it. Now we don't know where that dot went. <laughs> I guess the dot had a mind of his what? But it's back now. Mind of his own. I have the dot back, but it didn't print. Okay, I'm going back to infusible ink. Let me try it again. When you put the paper in the print, did you load it in the print? Try on the bottom or in the back of the printer? My paper, my printer, the paper goes in face down on the, on my inkjet printer. You think so? Okay. Um, and I don't have a, a back tray. Mine is face down for stuff like this. But when I'm using the fancy printer, I know. I need a big trash can. I have two trash cans in here, though. Both of them are full. Hopefully it works this time. 
You know, that was the issue. But it printed fine before when I, because I tested it before I came on live. It sure did just. Oh, it's good. It's good now. It's good. Now you see, I didn't do anything right. It just, <laughs> it just stopped. I did not do anything. I did not do anything. On my screen, it says 100% and I did not touch it. It just stopped. I'm just gonna click cancel. Your grandbaby has good taste. Calibration was the answer, but it did print. It did cut right. Look at that. It cut and it even cut the dot, even though it's white. I have no idea why, but whatever. So let's go to the heat press. It looks great, right? So I'm going to turn the camera off and move over to the heat press. Kristen, I think you were saying, if Kristen is still in here, she was saying something the other day about the cricket just stopped. After it finished cutting, it didn't like unload the mat, but it got a good cut. Look at that. It's like excellent, right? So let's go over to the heat press and I'm gonna press it, okay? I'm gonna I'll turn the camera off so y'all don't go on a field trip. We're going on a trip in our favorite rocket ship, going to the sky, little Einstein's. Climb aboard, get ready to explore. There's so much to do. Da, 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 da. My Lord, do you know that song or no? Do you know that song or no? You don't? Okay. You don't even like songs? You don't like singing? Okay. Let's see. Hey. Okay. Can we see? Sometimes I don't move mouse. Move your mouse. Okay. So I'm going to get the bag. Let me get the bag. Here's the bag. Bag. This bag is... 100% cotton. And I'm going to do a, a quick pre-press. The temperature is set to 375 degrees. Y'all don't need to see this spot shot. If you have a stain in your carpet, you spray that. And da 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 spot shot. Now y'all owe me $2,000. I just did a quick little pre-press. This bag is 100% uh, cotton. All right. <laughs> so now what I'm going to do with this, see how this has the backing, it has the, the backing is still on there. So I'm going to remove this from the backing. If I can, carefully, very, very carefully. Now, remember, this stuff is for dark fabric, but you see that fabric is not dark. I don't use the light fabric kind. I just always like to use the dark fabric kind. I think you just get better results. Now, with the light fabric kind, you do have to mirror, but that's a whole different issue for a whole different day. So I'm just removing it from the backing very carefully.
Did that heat press open water? Uh, no. I would say no, David. But the thing about this heat press is that it slides out and that, that one doesn't. That's a good question, though. You do feel it. So I'm peeling this off because I don't want to rip it. It's bigger, David. It's just bigger, more heavy duty. Okay, so here's the image. Let me just lay it on top of here like this. It's somewhat in the center. Now this stuff comes with, um, they call it silicone sheets. If I, have one. I think I took one out already. If I didn't, I will. Let me take one out. So I'm using this right here. So it comes with like these. It kind of feels like parchment paper to me, but they call them silicone sheets. And you just put it on top. And I'm going to press this for 25 seconds. Firm pressure. I know it's on 15 seconds. Firm pressure. Hey, JV, JV. Hey, Karen. Stream is behind. Hi, Michelle. Oh, that looks really, really good. <laughs> now, I personally would press this twice, but it looks good already. See that? See that? Yes, Marilyn. It feels to me is it's nothing but parchment paper. But this was from my regular inkjet printer. Um, it's you know it's like I said, it's more like I'm gonna press this again because I feel like I should. Like I would, I would have done this for 25 seconds. I thought my press was set to 25 seconds. So I'm gonna just press it one more time. Cause I feel like that's not enough time. I, I think 25 seconds is what it's supposed to be. Um, it On the packaging, it says don't wash it for 24 hours. Um, it does say turn it inside out, wash it on cold. Um, so I would follow those recommendations. This looks good though. This looks excellent actually. See that? So, you know, you don't, I don't want you to feel like you always have to use sublimation, the S word, you know, to get nice, vibrant images. Now, is the ink in there? No. Is it on top? Yes, it's on top of this. So once this, you know, is not hot anymore, is cooled down, you'll be able to hear it. It feels kind of like a, a sticker on the fabric, but it's not going to wash away. And after a few washes, if it starts to peel, all you would do is press it again. So like with the shirt that I made with Peter's mom's picture on it, um, let's just say that, because this, remember I said I made this in 2020. She passed away in 2020, right? His mom passed away in 2020. And I told you I made this shirt. This, you hear that? Right? You hear that, right? If this was starting to peel up, all I would do is just press it again. So like I could just go in here and press this again and it's not going to hurt it. I could just use the same stuff and just press it again. And it's going to actually make it look better than it already does.
Can you show the paper again? It's linked below the video, Ermi. We're gonna look at the links below my video in a minute. It's this, but it's linked. It's, there's already a link below the video. And, you know, heating it up, softens it up. Thank you, Crystal. Okay, so, ooh, it's hot. So, you know, if you're using this stuff and it starts to peel, just press it. That's it. How do you press images on the left or right sleeve? I guess you would just make it smaller. I haven't done that. Um, I haven't I haven't done anything like that. Okay. All right, so I'm going to put the camera back over there and we're going to go to the next one, okay? Thank you, David. She inside and out, inside and out. She was, man, so kind to me. So kind to me. She loved me and I love her. I still love her. You know, it's rare. All right, let's look at the links below the video really quick. Um, let's go here. Let's go here, present, share screen. I don't want the sound to come off, so one second, okay? Mm. All right, let me share my screen, present, share screen. Let's go to entire screen here, share here. Uh, let's go here. All right, so this is y'all right now, right? This is where we are, like, see the blue hearts where Demps put the hearts in the live chat? So if we look right there and we go down here, right here, it's 321 people watching. And let me click no. And if I click right here on more, you can see all of the links. So here is the journal sheet. Like if you want to take notes, um, here is the calibration sheet. So you see, I just needed to calibrate my Cricut. Um, here are the colors that's in my hoodie. Cause sometimes I'll get asked that. Like someone say, what color are you wearing? And no, I don't remember, right? So I've, I've started putting them in the dis video description. So that will help you to know that. And then this is the um, the sunflower that I've just used. It's in this link right here. And then everything else is down here. I did not list my Cricut Maker because a lot of people have a Maker 3 or they might be using an Explorer Air 2 or something like that. So but everything else, here's the Caesar Easy Color DTV, here's the ASA paper, here's the PPD, here's the pen and gear, here's the printer's jack, and there's my printer. It's not linked because that print, they don't make that printer anymore. The sunflower printer red because it is red. Okay. So, and then that's all of my equipment. So my table, my desk, my heat press cart, my heat press, the top cover, the bottom cover. And then here are other tutorials that will help you. And these are links if you are interested in getting social with me, okay? All right, so we'll stop sharing and come back. All right. Any other questions about materials? Materials are always listed below the video, okay? All right. All right, so let's try to do that with an easy press because everybody doesn't have a heat press like this, right? So if we were using an easy press, let's say we wanted to put 
a sunflower on a black shirt, right? Because we don't, everybody doesn't want to use a white bag. So if I printed that sunflower again, the sunflower that is red, um, I would print it out the same way I printed it the first time. And then I would put it on a, a black shirt. So let's try that. So I'm going to go back into Cricut Design Space. I'm going to share my screen. We're going to go to the, let's go to the entire screen. Let's click share. Let's click hide. Let's go here. And this time, let's put this on a shirt. Okay. And um, yeah, let's click make. And same size paper. Or do y'all want to use a different paper now? Do you want to try a different paper or the same paper? We already know how that one works. Try a different paper. Okay, let's uh, let's click cancel and now the one that's on let me stop sharing for one second the one that's on peter's mom's shirt that was this do we want to try a different paper this paper is available in the link below the video and you can also get this at amazon um, at walmart like you can go and it's on the shelf. It's on the same aisle as copy paper, stationery, all that kind of stuff, right? So that's what this is. This this photo right here. What I do with it? What I do with the what I do with the photo? I don't even know what I do with it. But the one I just showed you is this. I don't know what I did with that. I thought it was this. Okay, y'all want to try this one? Let's get a black shirt and we'll try this one. And I'm going to tell you, in my opinion, this washes well. And I'm telling you that because I, I made those shirts in 2020 and it's 2024. And I told you, I know I washed that shirt at least 30 times. I know I have. And this might be cheaper at Walmart. I think it was, I don't think it was $14 in the store. I think it was cheaper than that. What do I do with the shirt, y'all? All right, so we want to try this with the Cricut. Want to try with the Easy Press? Is is everything is crafting with Delanda? Everything crafting with Delanda at Gmail, crafting with Delanda on Instagram, crafting with Delanda on TikTok, crafting with Delanda on Pinterest, crafting with Delanda everywhere. Okay, let's get the Easy Press. Crafting with the Londa at gmail.com. Crafting with the Londa at gmail.com. Crafting with the Londa at gmail. 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 Milo, do we craft with Delanda at Gmail? Hmm? Yeah, we do. Craft with Delanda at Gmail. Crafting with Delanda at Gmail. I only have the um nine by nine. So this is what we're gonna use, okay? We're gonna use a nine by nine. And y'all know the easy press heats up very fast. You know that. All right. And let me look at the directions. You understand me? Okay. So on the, on this now, once again, if you just joined or if you missed when I said this, I always use the dark fabric transfers. This is dark fabric transfers. And it says to use it with an inkjet printer. This one comes with 10 sheets and I'm using it with my regular inkjet printer. <laughs> as long as y'all don't email me, we good. Okay. People think they're so slick. They be like, Delonda, I just want to tell you. No, you don't. Okay. 
All right, it says print on the other side with inkjet printers only. And it says trim around the design and peel the backer. Lay the image side up, face up, and place the overlay paper on top. So in this package, it comes with that same kind of like silicone. They call it silicone. I promise you it feels exactly like parchment paper. But it feels a little bit waxy. And then it says, let's see what it says. Then it says, iron using firm pressure. If you have a fourth of a sheet, you do it for 45 seconds. If you have a half sheet, you do it for one minute. If you're doing a full sheet, you do it for two minutes. I'm not doing this for two minutes, okay? We're gonna do this for one minute. We're gonna do this for one minute because no, we're not doing that. All right? Yes. <laughs> yeah, no, we're not, okay? So stop it. All right, so I'm going back in to Cricut Design Space and I need to change it. Now, is it okay with you if we do a different image? Because we, well, I think we all sunflowered out. Are we all sunflowered out? Okay, let's do a different one, okay? Let's do a different image, okay? Let's do a different, let's do an image that has words or a word, okay? So let's go back in to Cricut Design Space and hopefully, let me stop sharing for one second and say what I gotta say because sometimes people hurt my feelings. And I know they don't try to hurt my feelings. Well, I might be hurting their feelings and I'm not trying to do that either. When someone gets lost and, and, and I'm teaching, it, it bothers me because I don't want you to be lost. I actually want you to be able to follow along with what I'm saying. So if I have said or done anything that is confusing to you or um, I've gone too fast or, um, you know, it's too much to take in at one time. Please forgive me. That is never the goal. It's never the goal. Okay, Cricket, thank you so much for being you. Okay. It is um, never the goal. My goal is for you to actually leave this tutorial with more knowledge than when you came in. So when somebody said, oh, she lost me that bothered me because I want to know what I did or what I need to go back over. I don't mind going back over anything. I want you to, I want you to get the knowledge. I want you to get it. Okay. So what I want to be clear about that. Somebody said they were lost and that made me feel bad. Okay. A photo of you. You want me to do a photo of my love? I don't know. I was gonna just use one of these, one of these images that's on here. Okay, thank you. All right, so um do you want me to use another sublimation image or do you want me to use a photo? You want me to use a sublimation image or do you want me to use a photo? No, it wasn't you, Princess. It was someone else. It wasn't you. A photo? Okay. So I'll use just a family photo. I'll just use a, a photo of, of my family, okay? All right. Let's go back in. Um... And I'll just hide this for now and I'll go to upload and I'll use a photo that I've used previously. Now, let me say this about um, um, using a photo because people will ask, how did I get the photo into Cricut Design Space? I typically have my photos in Google Photos and when I get ready to use a photo to use to like upload into Cricut Design Space, I'll download that photo onto my computer and then I'll upload it into Cricut Design Space. 
No, I'm going to use a photo with words. Photo with, with words. Okay. All right. So I'm going to just use a photo that I already have instead of trying to find something else. Um... I guess I could use this. This is not going to be, I mean, I don't think I'm going to like this, but we'll go with this. So this is like an old picture of us. Hey, Evie. Um, this is an old picture of us, but I'll use this. And I know Cricut Design Space is not going to let me be great. Let's see. We want this to be eight and a half by 11. And I'm going to click done. All right. And I know that's too big. Let's see. Auto resize. So it's only going to let me have it that big. Um, hmm. If I put the words on the photo, that's not going to really help you to see that you need a that you would need an offset behind the photo. But let me show you something really quick. Let me make my screen bigger. So let's just say, for example, we were going to use this. Let's just say, for example, we were going to use this image right here and you see how this has letters right here at the bottom and these letters are not all necessarily touching, right? All of these letters are not touching. So like the D, it's not touching anything. It's not touching the A, it's not touching the, the rainbow. So if I were, if I wanted to put this on a shirt, I would have to have a background. I would have to have a layer behind it. So I did that one earlier, but I wanted you to kind of just see that so you would understand that part, okay? I know, Tanya, it's a lot, right? So if I wanted to put this on a shirt or if I wanted to put this on a bag or I wanted to put it on anything, I would have to add an offset to this and then I could, you know, put it on whatever I wanted to put it on, right? If I wanted to do, you know, that's a big offset, but... in order for this all to be together, I could do it like that and I can, you know, select the whole thing and then I could flatten it. So I could put this on a shirt and it will work. This is an example right here. Let me make, let me stop sharing so you can see what I'm talking about. So I did this shirt earlier. So you see how that image that I just showed you in Cricut Design Space, right? The, the image that you just saw, this was it. So I just had a black offset behind it so that it would all stay together because otherwise it wouldn't work. All the letters would have cut out example uh, individually. See what I'm saying? This is got a little stuff on it, but you understand what I'm saying? See how it has a black offset. So if I was using a gray shirt, I probably would have used the gray offset. If I was using a white shirt, I would have used the white offset or a pink offset or something that wouldn't look too bad behind the image. Okay. So if I was adding words to that photo, then I would definitely have an offset. But uh, it's hard for me to think of words to... She wants to know what grade I used to teach. I taught third and fifth. I thought third and fifth. Okay, I'm going back in until I said thank you very much. What's her name? So I can give her a shout out. All right, I'm going to delete that, but hopefully you understood that one. And I don't really think I want to use this picture because it's just kind of like weird, but let me just find it. <laughs> use a different one. One that I probably would wear like on a shirt, like maybe the one with me and my girls like this. I would wear this on a shirt. So 
So I will bring this down. Okay, so let's just say I'm ready to make this. I'm not adding anything to this. I'm going to print it just like that, eight and a half by 11. So with this paper, I would be printing. I will put it my put this paper in my printer. Yes, I'm going to put this paper in my printer so I can get this printed. Let me get this printed. Okay, so let me go to continue. I'm going to answer that question. Shan, Shan, is it Chantel? Chantel. I'm using my inkjet printer. This is an inkjet printer. It's an inkjet printer kind of knife. And I'm keeping the ad bleed on. I always keep the ad bleed on. I always keep the ad with this stuff. And I'm going to use my system dialog. I'm going to click print. I'm going to my preferences. I'm going to do a print preview. Get into the habit of doing a print preview every time. It'll save time and uh, resources because you won't waste paper printing something that you never intended. So I'm choosing other photo paper. I just choose other photo paper and print quality high. And I'm going to click print and it's going to give me a print preview. So that's what I want it to look like. And I'm not mirroring this. And I'm going to click start printing. Let me stop sharing for one second and show you the paper again. This is the paper that I'm using this time. And so her question was, so we need different paper and procedure for different color shirts? No, I'm using the same procedure that I just used with this, this paper. Same, the same procedure that I just used with the, um, the, um, what was that one called? Printer's Jack. This, I didn't change the procedure. It's the same procedure. The only thing I changed was the size of the paper because this paper is 8.3 by 11.7. And this paper is eight and a half by 11. See that? Same procedure. I didn't mirror. I, I didn't. I didn't do anything different. Still dark fabric. Gonna, it's going to add a tiny offset around the image just so that when it's cut, it's just going to be, to me, it just gives a more accurate cut with this kind of stuff. Cricket, don't be that way. All right, let me look at the temperature for this. I'm pretty sure, let me see, I think I wrote it down. Let me see what this is. So. Ooh. Okay, 375. <laughs> using both hands. Iron transfer with firm pressure using both hands in a straight, non-stop motion, right to left and bottom to top. Keep ironing, keep the iron moving at all times. So since a cricket is considered as an iron, I'm going to have to move it while I'm using this. Wow. And it says allow, allow fabric to cool completely. Remove the overlay paper. If any part of your image did not adhere completely, it may be corrected by covering it with the overlay paper and ironing it again. 
So if I was using a heat press, I would do this for 375. But since I'm using an iron, I'm still going to put it on 375. And I'm going to do it for one minute. Because I think that's considered as a half page. All right, let me clean off my area so y'all can be able to see this. It's going to be different. Maybe I'll do a follow-up video. Uh, Mylene, I'm going to put these in your bag. So you'll get these two extra sunflowers in case you want them. That's for Mylene. Let me get my paper so we can get it cut. I mean, my picture. And yes, I want it cut, even though it's just a, um, oh my gosh, that's so good. Even though it's just a um, rectangle. So this is from my regular inkjet printer. Let me hide the current comment. This is from my regular inkjet printer. Thank you, Apple. Okay. So I'm going to put this on my mat and let my Cricut Maker cut this. Let's move it over. Thank you, Philip. The picture is beautiful because my girls, honey. All right, so I'm going to put this on my mat. I'm going to let my Cricut cut this out. I'm going to put it in the exact same direction it was in Cricut as it was in Cricut Design Space on that prepare screen, right? So put it right here in the corner. You know, sometimes you can go over it with a your brayer mic when you're not using it for singing. If you're using the brayer for singing, then the mat has to wait. Okay? But in this case, I'm not singing. So I'm going to go ahead and put this right here. Let my Cricut cut it. Did I mirror this? Thank you. Did I mirror that? Did I mirror that? Thank you behind, Adrian. Did I mirror? I did not mirror, did not mirror. I'm going to use the infusible ink transfer sheet setting. That's just the setting that I like. You can use whatever setting you prefer. I'm just using the one I like. I'm gonna go ahead and let my Cricut cut that. Did not mirror. got to come to me naturally. It's got to just come to my head. got to come to me naturally. Tomorrow I will be live with my Romeo. We will be making gifts for guys. Gifts for guys. Because that's not easy. I don't think it's easy. It's always hard for me to think of a gift for Peter. Hey, Milo. Y'all want to say hi to Milo while this uh cutting? I want to say hi to the people. I want to say hi to the people. Come on. Did it cut? Oh, it did. It's good. Okay. I'm going to say hi to the people. Say hi. Hey. Hi to the people. Say hi to the people. You don't want to? You're being a little bit shy. When I said gifts for guys, but I was talking about you because you're a guy and you want a gift. Yeah. You want a treat treat? <laughs> That's all you care about is a treat treat. You want a treat treat? 
Let's get a treat treat. You need a treat treat? They want you to have one. I want to say, hey, Milo. Hey, come on, Milo. You can give you a treat treat. They taste so super, super good. That tastes so super, super good. That's so super, super good. Want me to let it go? They're so delicious and nutritious. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You're a good boy. I know you're being super, super good. Somebody's going to find you a girlfriend. And guess what she's going to give you? Treats. She's going to give you a whole bunch of treats. I can feel it in my spirit. Okay. All right. So it could. This is with the ad bleed on. Let me show you what that ad bleed looks like. See that? See that right there? That's the bleed. I don't know if y'all can see it good, but it just adds a tiny, tiny, tiny offset around the image. Okay. Here's the image. No white. Okay. So now let me bring the view down so y'all can kind of see it. Good. Y'all can see it good. Okay. Let me see if I can. Maybe I can just bring the table up. How about you bring the table up? Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Apple. Okay. So here's the image. Here's the silicone sheet that I keep saying feels just like parchment paper. I'm going to actually put this inside my shirt. Um, this is not linked below the video. Um, I did not think about this ahead of time. I didn't think about this ahead of time. But this is a Cricut 12 by 12 um, mat. Okay. I'm going to use that. Now, if I was a shirt, where did I put the shirt? It's right here. Now, this is going to be a little bit weird because I'm going to have to give this a lot of pressure and my table is up high. <laughs> so I'm going to do my what? Best. Okay. I actually have some pressing pillows. I probably should have used that, but we're going to go with this. Get old college try. That's all I can do. So I have this uh, Cricut Easy Press set at 375 degrees for 60 seconds. So I'm going to do a pre-press just to remove any of the moisture. Let's see if y'all can see that. You can see that? It's getting ready to be weird, y'all. I ain't even gonna lie. <laughs> I don't think I've ever done this. Have you ever done this? No. Do you want to? Sure. All right, so now I have to remove this from the backing. Yeah, but I still wanna, I don't wanna just press this on my table. This is as hard as I, unless I put it over there, but I want y'all to be able to see it. So it's going to, I'm going to do my best. I gave my all, but I guess my all wasn't good enough. Peeling it off. Here we are back where we were before. 
Oh, that's cute. I think it's gonna be cute, y'all. I think so. I hope so. All right, so now I'm gonna put the silicone paper on top. I'm gonna move this down a little bit because I'm not gonna be able to get a lot of good pressure with it being up high. All right, so it says move it around the whole time. So I'm gonna set this for, I probably should have set it for 90 seconds. I'm gonna do 90 seconds instead of 60 seconds. So a minute and a half. And I'm gonna press it as good as I can. I'm just moving it. <laughs> and I'm pressing hard, y'all. I am pressing very, very hard. You can do it, put your back into it. You can do it, put your back into it. You can do it, put your back into it. You can do it, put your back into it. Still got a minute to go. Back about to be heard, lower the table. I'm sweating. Milo, I need a treat too. Okay, lowering the table. Cricket, y'all need to do better than this. This ain't rot. It just ain't rot. I've been working on the railroad all the live long day. Dot. Da 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 I need a beverage. I need a beverage. And I ain't talking about no coffee. <laughs> I wish y'all could see his face. Y'all, did I peel the thing off? Oh, I did. I don't even remember peeling the bacon off. Let me see what it says after that, okay? Then, what do you do after that? Let me go back to the instructions. What do you do after you put your back into it? You can do it, put your back into it. What do I do with the thing, y'all? You can do it, put your back into it. Okay, let's see. Then after you do that, allow fabric to cool completely. Remove the overlay paper. So I'm gonna let this cool off. <laughs> uh, it said it said uh, allow it to cool completely. That's what it said. So I'm on number four. Allow fabric to cool completely. Remove the overlay paper. If any part of your image did not adhere completely, it may be corrected by covering it again. So I'm gonna let it cool completely. We're gonna let it cool completely. Milo, you got your, your uh, teeth showing. Okay, I like that. It's cool. I like it. I like when you have your, your teeth showing like that. It's pretty cool. I love it. It's great. It's so good. You just want your teeth to be showing like that? You want to be grilling? It's still warm. Should I? Let me take this out. This mat. Oh, I'm scared to even move it. We're gonna see. We're gonna see. I'm gonna let y'all see a picture of him with his little teeth showing like that.
Showing your teeth? Okay, cool. I like it. It's great. It's cooled down a little bit. Got his grill. Got your grill. Okay. You grilling? We be grilling. Okay, cool. So cute. I do. I do. Somebody send Delanda a handheld fan. Let's take up a GoFundMe. What is it for? To get Delanda a handheld fan so she can cool stuff off? Or a what? Cooling block. We need that. Thank you, Milo. I think it's good, y'all. I think it's so good. Should I peel it? What y'all think? So you can see where the mat was. Right? Hey, Priscilla. You can see where the mat was. <laughs> Should I peel it? Peel it. Peel it. Feel it? Okay. You can see where that mat was. Hopefully that'll go away. But the image is good. Do you see that this is not the S word? Photo transfer paper. You're still going to get good, vibrant, nice images. The only thing is the image is on top of the fabric. It's not in the fabric. And so if I was going to now, I, this would bother me, right? I would have to figure out what I'm doing with this, right? Or maybe if I press it again, that might go away. Um, let me see. I'm going to put this paper back on top and press it again and see what if that'll, that little outside part will go away because I'm not really feeling that too much. Let's see. Oh, and it also says do not use an ironing board. It said that. But... Now, we do have an ironing board. I will tell you that. We just don't have an iron. <laughs> My kids took the iron, but not the ironing board. So I'm just moving this back and forth. Maybe if I would have lint rolled it before, I don't know. Let me move it down So I'm trying again. I just put the paper back on top. Okay, Sharon Davenport. Y'all, Sharon Davenport won the HTV Rant Heat Hat Press. She won the HTV Rant Hat Press. Y'all, it looks so good. So I shouldn't, maybe I should not have done that, but you get it, right? So the image looks good. Um, I probably shouldn't have used that, uh, thing around it. Okay. But the image is good. The image is great, actually. All right. So the, the downside is, you know, it's on top. But once again, if I was washing this, so let's see what it says. For this, it says, wait 24 hours before washing. So don't wash it away, right away. To prolong the vibrancy, wash it inside out. So when they say inside out, they, that means just turn the shirt inside out. So this is, I'm going to put it inside out so that I can't see the image, right? So here's the, you know, the image is on this side now. And so when I get ready to wash this, it says do not use bleach. I don't normally use bleach for my black shirts anyway. Uh, tumble dry on the lowest setting or lay flat to dry with the transfer facing out. If ironing fabric is desired, do not iron directly on the transfer. Okay. So that is that. And this was the same stuff like that I used when I showed you that picture of Peter's mom. Okay. All right. What questions do y'all have? 
about this. Put your paper on top, man inside, maybe. What questions do you have? All of these are pretty much the same thing. All of these work the same way. Okay. So when I, let me grab one, one more thing I want to show you right quick. To really make sure you understand what I was saying. So like with this image right here, this is sublimation, right? Y'all see this very well? This is sublimation. You know it's sublimation because, you know, the image is no offset needed unless you have words and you're trying to keep them together. With this, it's sublimation. You know it's sublimation because the ink, like his picture is in there, right? Right. So the ink is in there. But if I didn't have a sublimation printer and I still wanted to do this same thing, I could use this. So with this, these are the same thing, right? With this, I just used Caesar Easy Color DTV. It's the same thing, but you can tell because this has a, uh, see the lines? So this picture is on top, my little hush. Whereas this picture is in the fabric, this is on the fabric, but it's still good. Okay. You see the difference? This one is in there. The ink is in there, right? And this is a true statement, y'all. When we're eating, he's just like sitting there staring like, I hope they drop something. Please drop something, right? Every meal you make, every bite you take, I'll be watching you. So this is sublimation, it's in there. But with this, you know, his picture, you can hear it. It's on there, you see that line? So with this, I needed a background, right? So still do it, it's the same. Okay. All right. Caesar Easy Color DTV. Okay, but that's still it's just nothing. It's a brand of printable vinyl or photo transfer paper. It's the same. They weren't married as good. Good. Okay, and I do have a tutorial for this that I use my Cricut. It's it's not linked below the video, but it's on my channel. Okay. So hopefully we accomplished our goal, which was to learn how to use photo transfer paper. Um, what is something you learned tonight? What is one thing you learned tonight? <laughs> what is one thing you learned tonight? Thank you, E. Thank you, Amanda. How to calibrate. Okay, good. Vanetta says she learned how to calibrate. <laughs> Patience. Okay, I'll take it. Color DTV, not DTF. Easy, easy, patient. You got to put your back into it. Yes. You don't need to mirror this stuff. Yes. Yes. When is that? I'll think that yes. Cut point. Yes, good, good. Mirroring not needed. So with this stuff, you're not mirroring it. You're not washing it right away. Um, you are you're gonna wait at least 24 hours. Um I I personally use ad bleed with all of this stuff. We're using a I'm gonna turn this off. With all of this stuff, we're using um 
an inkjet printer. Inkjet printer. Prayers have many uses. Flatten when using. Okay. Good. You can use the easy press, but you're going to have to put your back into it. Okay. All right. Thank you, Monica. Wash it inside out. Dark fabric transfer paper. I prefer the dark fabric transfer paper. Let me look at my list and make sure I uh, say everything I need to say. I talked about, I gave you some examples. I showed you some examples. You know, I don't really know how many washes because none of them say, well, this should give you, you know, 20 washes or 30 washes or whatever, because it's really going to depend on how you wash it, right? I learned, you learned a new song to calibrate. Calibrate good times. Come on. Let's calibrate. Let me get my, let me get my brain. There's a party going on right here. A calibration to last throughout the year. So bring your good times and your laughter too. We gonna calibrate your party with you. We got a song, okay? Um, what do we do? We talked about the benefits. We talked about the limitations. Uh, we talked about, I'm sure I showed you how to use it with my regular press. You're going to have heavy pressure. I showed you how to use it with my easy press. You're going to still have heavy pressure. We use the inkjet printer for the whole thing. And we know that the difference between this and the S word is that the image is on top of the fabric. It's not in the fabric. It's on top, right? It's on top of the fabric. It's not in the fabric. Um, and I think that's it. Okay, we're going to bring the laugh now. We're going to bring the what? Joy. Mm, mm. And uh, and pump it up, pump it up. Sunshine. Pump up and rain. Okay, so remember, this is the last time I'm going to show you this, but because I love this picture so much. Um, this was done in 2020. I've watched this at least 30 times. If it starts peeling up, you can just press it again and it'll lay flat right back down, okay? Every, all the links are below, yes. All right, so let's do one more giveaway. Thank you, Julie, I appreciate that. I appreciate that, Julie, you, you are my favorite. Everybody's my favorite. Good, David. All right, um, let's do one more giveaway and then we will land this plane. What do I get my energy? It's in this cup. My energy is right here in this cup. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. All right. Let's do Regina. She, she are, Regina, how many logos you going to get? 30? <laughs> Regina said, I'm already typing this logo too. It's going to be logo too. And you have to be in the United States. And, and oh, Sonnet. Oh, I'm, let's, well, since you asked, let me answer that right now. Sonnet said, let me see what Sonnet said. How long should one wait after winning? Don't, don't wait. Email me that day if you can. That would be great because I send them out right away. Now, I'm in Houston, and they've been having a problem with their mail, but anything you win from me, I try to send it out the next day because I don't like to wait. I don't like that lingering over my head. All right. We are going to go to Logo 2. Logo 2. You have to be in the United States, and you... um. You have 48 hours to claim your prize. You just email me. You email me. Um, where is it? Give me way too. Okay. You email me, craftingwithalanda at gmail.com. Very good. Very good. And bond. Let me write that down. And bond. And bond one logo two. And bond. Let's do one more, y'all. And 
bond. Let's do one more. Logo three. Logo three. Logo three. And my lean was getting the bag. Ready? Five, four, three, two, one. The best Oma. Okay. The best Oma. Congratulations. Congratulations to everyone. The best Oma. The best Oma. The best Oma. Are you in the United States? Are you in the United States? Okay. All right. So all you have to do is email me your mailing address. You have 48 hours to do that and I will send it to you in the mail. We are finished with the giveaway. Thank you all very much for being here. Uh, we did already check to see if we accomplished our goal. So I think we did a good job of accomplishing our goal. Thank you all so much for being here. Let me say my say about road rage, but let me also say that I will be live tomorrow night using my Caesar Romeo. We will be talking about Valentine's gifts for guys. And I'm just sharing a few ideas with you about some things that I'm um, thinking of giving to my husband. All right. Um, y'all don't care if my hair is sticking up. Y'all don't love me like that, but that's okay. Um, y'all just don't engage in road rage. It's, it's very crazy. I don't know why people even do it. Like, don't argue with anybody. You don't know these people enough to give them your energy. And if somebody is driving around with that much negative pent up energy, they don't care enough about you to they don't care about your life. They don't care that you have a family. They don't care that you have loved ones who want to see you come back home. So just don't involve yourself. Don't argue with anybody. Don't race to get to the red light. If somebody gets in front of you and they didn't have their blinker on, just tell yourself the blinker wasn't working. Okay. Do your best when you leave your house to get back to your house. And if that means you have to drop your pride because somebody is speeding around you, let them speed around you because it's better to have your life than to and and lose the pride for that minute, right? Because that that it doesn't matter in the grand scheme of things. People are going through stuff and they take it out on the road. You know, but tough financial times. They might be someone's caregiver. That is a hard job being someone's caregiver. Okay. Um, and if you don't even know what you won, I don't even know if you need to win. I'm gonna let you go back and watch the replay. I'm gonna let you watch the replay. And if you don't do the right thing, then you didn't win. That's just what it is. I need you to watch the video, okay? Um, don't engage, y'all. Just don't do it, okay? Don't argue. You don't have to prove a point. It's just not worth it. Please, it's just not worth it, okay? All right. Thank y'all so very much for being here. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you learned. I hope it was a good use of your time. I appreciate you. And if nobody has told you they love you today, I love you. And hopefully you'll be joining me again tomorrow. If you didn't like the video, go and like the video. Okay. Thank y'all so much for being here. Okay. I appreciate that. I appreciate it very much. Okay. Milo, we saying good night to the people. We saying good night to the people. Milo said good night to the people. Hopefully I'll see y'all tomorrow. Okay. All right. Bye y'all.